Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Mike McGuire, State Senator. And first and foremost, thank you so much for allowing me to zoom in today. Uh, I hate not being there with you. I gotta be really honest. Uh, we are in the midst of the end of our first session and I was unable to leave the Capitol. I wanna first thank the North Bay Business Journal for allowing me to join you today. We love Miss Bailey. I hope you're doing well, Miss Bailey, and to the entire team at the Press Democrat, Sonoma Media Investments, Thank you for your incredible work covering the North Bay each and every day. I think we need to be candid. We're coming out of some of the toughest times in our lifetime and the heart of our community. Our small businesses were impacted like never before. I wanna say thank you to our small business leaders, our business owners who have stuck with Sonoma County and the North Bay. And I promise you the state is gonna to continue to be laser focused on helping you succeed and thrive in the years to come. Now, we have some challenges, let's just be really honest, but we're also seeing some economic gains coming out of the pandemic. First and foremost, California is now on the verge of becoming the fourth largest economy in the world. We firmly believe that we are going to beat pre-pandemic unemployment levels here by the end of this year, first thing next year. Our tourism economy, it is finally recovering. We anticipate $154 billion in visitor spending this year. That will eclipse our previous record back in 2019, which was $145 billion in visitor spending. That's incredible news. The construction sector, we're gonna to continue to see surging. We're gonna see a surge in public works projects, roads, highways, public transit, and we're gonna to continue to build more housing 2024 and 2025 than we have in many years. In fact, California will continue to add more homes in 2025, about 150,000, which is an all time high over the last decade. Is it enough? Absolutely not. We need more housing. We need more housing for our workforce. That is absolutely critical. And I promise you that is something that I'm laser focused on. The last piece of good news, we've added about 3.2 million jobs since 2020 coming back from the abyss. And we can't thank you enough uh, for your focus on our economy. Again, thank you for allowing me to be here. I'm grateful for your hard work, for your partnership. And I look forward to our continuing to work together in the months and years to come.